What's up everybody? Today's video will be a trend spider tutorial and I will be showcasing the unusual options widget which a lot of you have been asking about and another data tool that tracks the short volume. These tools were originally shown to me by the Stocks Channel Discord member 2v5 so I have to give him a huge shout out for that and today I'm going to go over what these tools are and how we use them in conjunction to have a very successful Tesla trade. Also I am an affiliate for trend spider so if you end up liking these tools and want to get a discount on this software there will be a link below with a coupon code where you can save 10% off. So let's jump right into this chart and let's start out by looking at the Tesla trade idea and then I'm going to show you how to add these tools to your chart and how to use them to enhance your trading. Okay, so first a quick recap of the trade idea. We were looking at the Tesla weekly chart and we saw it was the most oversold it had ever been in history and it was also reaching the bottom price target at the bottom of the channel at 107 and we were looking for a bounce to any of the targets above at 129, 138 to 155. And obviously as traders, we need a contingency plan. And if we broke down below 107, we were looking for the next target lower at 94. Okay, so now that we have the trade idea, let's add the tools on the chart. And the first tool we wanna add is the unusual options widget, which you need to go to the top right of the screen where it says sidebar and click that button. Once you hit sidebar, you need to hit the button that says add or remove widgets. And then once you are in here, you are going to say, I want to add a new widget. And then a menu will pop up and it'll have many widgets that you can pick from. And the one we want to select is called the unusual options. So once I select that, it's going to pop up here and I do have it selected to show the wide view so that all of my widgets on TrendSpider don't stack up on top of each other and it makes it a lot easier to see them. So once I'm done here, I'll click the done button and I can now see I have the unusual options widget for any stock that I'm looking at which is going to be very important in setting up this trade. The next tool I wanna to add is the short volume and I need to go to the button up here that says other data and hit the three dots to the right of it. And then I'm going to see this screen pop up and I wanna go the second from the bottom that says short volume and I wanna click the box right next to it and then I want to hit close. Now I do have other things on this chart like RSI and MACD and those are very standard indicators and I will have a separate video on how to set up trend spider charts from the beginning and how to add all of these indicators but today I just strictly want to focus on the unusual options widget and the short volume. Okay, now that we have the short volume and the unusual options, we want to take a look at how we saw this trade developing and why we knew it was time to start going long on Tesla stock. So we saw a couple of things where the price started to stabilize around that target at 107. We started to get bullish RSI divergence where the RSI was climbing while the price was just grinding along the bottom of the support, which is always a bullish indication and that's exactly what you see near a bottom. And then we also got a positive crossover in the MACD that told us the downtrending momentum was ending and we were starting to get some positive momentum in the price. On top of that, we also saw there was a ton of shorts still trapped in the stock who were expecting it to go much lower even though the technicals were starting to show signs of a reversal. So this was the first indication using the short volume that we could see a very powerful move off of the low. And that is why I said in the update that we have a ton of short volume, meaning we can see an absolute rocket above the 123 resistance breakout. And then we can start to see panic buying as we reach our price target at 138 and higher. So without seeing that short volume indicator, we would have had no way to know that there were a lot of shorts that were going to get squeezed out of this stock. And this is very simple to see right here in our chart setup. So we don't need to be flipping screens to go to other services to see what the short volume is. We can see it right here on our charting platform. So now that we know the technicals tell us we're looking for a reversal and we can start to see there's still a lot of shorts trapped in this stock, the next step is to start looking to see if there are any unusual options that tell us that some of the smarter money option traders are looking for a bounce from these levels. So now let's take a look at the unusual options widget, which I did add to my screen and you can see it right here next to the watch list. And the first thing you want to understand about this widget is that nothing can predict exactly what's going to happen in the future. This is simply just a tool to help you go with your technicals and what you're already seeing on the chart and help give more confirmation. So how you use this tool is there are some sliders at the top of the screen and the first one is going to allow you to adjust the expiration date for the options being purchased. So the first thing I suggest doing is dial that in to a date that you care about. And usually you only need to look a few months out into the future because anything beyond that is way too far out to affect any of your near-term trading. So here I adjusted it to show me the expiration dates from today going into July of this year. And of course you can put that on anything you want and it'll show the options within those dates. The next thing below that allows us to adjust the premium shown on the options being purchased. 
and this is only going to allow you to go as low as about 20 to 25,000. And then the highest setting is going to be the largest volume we've seen on these options. And currently on Tesla stock, that is right around 507,000. So the next thing I suggest doing is move this slider somewhere closer to 80,000 because we want to see some of those bigger options money players because they are more than likely the smarter money putting a lot more money at risk. And this means if they have the money to put six figures or more on option trades, they most likely are very big money players and the big Big money players are usually the ones that know where stocks are going to go next. You don't want to follow the small fish that have no idea. You want to follow the smart money, big money players. So when you use this setting, you want to adjust it and tweak it around until you can find some of those big option trades that you want to start tracking and see where those smart money players think the stock is going in the future. And then finally, the third adjuster allows you to change the strike price. So if you're getting way too far out of the money options that you don't want to see, you can simply adjust the slider to filter those out. So now that I've adjusted my unusual option settings, I can now see a graph here and I can also see a chart that shows me all of the options being purchased on Tesla. And it shows me exactly all of the information I want to know to tell me if this is the side of the trade I think I want to go on based on what I'm seeing in the technicals. So I'm currently filming this after the Friday close on February 24th. So this is the current options that we're seeing in this point in time. And I'm also going to show you what we saw when we originally setting up the trade. So we can easily enhance this chart by clicking on the top right of the screen. And that is going to allow us to make this into a full screen chart if you do need to get more visibility in where these options are being traded. And then you can highlight your mouse over any of these options and it'll tell you exactly what the expiration date is, what the strike is, and how much premium was used on that trade. The larger the premium, the bigger the circle. So you're getting a very good graphical representation of how much money is on that option simply by looking at the size of the circle. Now I'm going to talk about how to use this in trading in just a moment. This is strictly just helping you set it up. And this is not yet telling you how you know where the stock is likely going to move based on looking at the options flow. So we can now make this screen back to minimum by clicking at the top right yet again, and we can go back to the original view. And then we can go to the orders below and we can scan through these to see if there's any trades we want to hammer down from that we didn't directly see in the chart. So first things first, you want to focus on how much you're seeing call options purchase versus put options. And you want to focus on the premiums and the expiration date. For example, here we had 210 calls expiring March 3rd, which is just right around the corner. And we had $433,000 of premium on that option. So somebody clearly thinks Tesla is going to be moving higher over the next couple of weeks and they're willing to put a lot of money behind that bet. Tesla is currently trading just under 197 and this trader sees potential that Tesla could be trading closer to 210 or at least start climbing towards that price in the very near future so that they can sell these options contracts for a higher premium than what they purchased them for. So now that you know how to set up this widget and what information it's showing you, let's go into how we use this in the Tesla trade idea. Okay, so the next step of this trade came on January 30th where we used the unusual options widget to see that there were a ton of out of the money call options being purchased and at that that moment in time, I said, this looks like Tesla wants to gamma squeeze higher through early February. Now to understand how this works, you have to remember that there is always a market maker on the other side of a trade. So if people are buying huge premiums of out of the money calls, the market makers that are selling those calls are now net short on the stock and they need to buy large amounts of the stock to hedge against those naked calls. They could lose infinite money if the stock kept going up. So they're hedging against having those naked calls by buying lots of shares to cover those calls. Those market makers won't continue to lose money against the people that purchase those call options. So using the unusual options widget, we were able to see that this trade still had a ton more momentum because we had a ton of short volume and we were starting to get evidence in the unusual options that we were very close to a gamma squeeze. So now if you look at the chart, we're going to jump to January 30th. And the prediction was that from this date, we would start to squeeze into early February. And you can see from the chart by February 15th, the stock had moved from 173 all the way up to 214. And that was a very impulsive move that only took two weeks and we were able to see it coming before it ever happened. So just a quick recap of how we structured this trade and how we use the tools. The first step is that we had the trade idea, which we use based on following price action. We knew where Tesla was likely heading and we had a trade plan built around following price action and following technical analysis. The next step is that we saw the price starting to stabilize near the support. So the trade idea was becoming validated by the fact that we were getting RSI divergence and the MACD was starting to cross over to positive momentum. And then the final step of this trade is we use trend spider short volume and unusual options widget to predict how high and how impulsive the short squeeze could be 
that allowed us to continue to predict higher and higher prices as we climb from the bottom. So I hope this recap of the Tesla trade idea and how we use technical analysis and TrendSpider's tools was a great learning lesson on how you can become a better trader by using the proper tools, all built around following your charting platform software, following price action, using technicals, and then using some extra data like short volume and unusual options to enhance your trading. I plan on doing a lot more tutorials just like this one, and I would appreciate if you would request what tutorials you want to see, because I do see a lot of power in this tool in TrendSpider, and I want to continue using it myself. And as I'm learning how to use TrendSpider and maximize the tools that they offer, I want to bring those tutorials to you and help you understand how to use them as well. So remember, if you're interested in TrendSpider and you're considering signing up, there will be a link in the description below that will save you 10% off with the coupon code. And if you do sign up for TrendSpider, make sure you let me know what kind of tutorials you want to see so that I can bring you the content you're looking for. So I hope you all enjoyed this recap of the Tesla trade idea. And if you did, please remember to leave me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below. So thank you for watching everybody. And as always, I will see you in the next episode.